I say yo, welcome to the BBW show. You feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling on a daily basis. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. The topic for today is NBA basketball. Let's get it. Let's get it. We are less than 20 games. Yes, 20 games left of the NBA season, I decided to break down who I have as my most valuable player so far. Let's get it, you hear me? This has been a great NBA season, great NBA season. Before we get started on this list, I have to talk about it. Joel Embiid was disqualified. Yes, yes, yes. Joel Embiid missed way more than 20 games this year, so he's not gonna win MVP. If Joel Embiid would have stayed healthy, he was my MVP. Your man was going crazy. Embiid was going crazy this year. Crazy this year. Now, I understand the NBA coming up with the, hey, you got to play a certain amount of games, da-da-da. But Embiid being robbed of MVP is kind of weird. It's not weird, but it's kind of hurt. It hurts. I ain't going to lie. He was having an MVP season. That injury happened. He got disqualified from the list. I definitely feel like we should... 20. Let's make it 20. You can't miss 20 games and then win MVP. If you miss more than 20 games, you disqualify. Anything less than 20, I feel like we could give it to him. Because it's an 82-game season. So 20, that's a quarter of the season. Another 20, that's half the season. You heard? So if you miss 25% of the season, you can't miss. You can't win MVP. You can't miss it. But if you miss 20%, 23%, you should still be eligible. That's my little rant. Shout out to Joel and B. I hope you come back healthy. Now, the five players I got on my MVP list so far are Jason Tatum of the Boston Celtics, Anthony Edwards of the Minnesota Timberwolves, Shea Gilders Alexander of the OKC Thunder, Nikola Jokic of the Denver Nuggets, and last but certainly not least, Jalen Brunson of the New York Knicks. Yes, yes, yes. Shout out to Jalen Brunson. I think Brunson's having an MVP season. MVP season. If not an MVP season, I feel like Tom Thibodeau should definitely probably be probably coach of the year. Coach of the year. The Knicks have definitely made an impact this year. They made great trades this year. They had some great wins. They had two All-Stars. They did everything they had to do. They did everything they had to do. You hear me? Shout out to the Knicks. Jalen Brunson so far has averaged 27 points. Three, three rebounds and six assists. And he got the Knicks at home court advantage right now for the fourth seed. Shout out to Jalen Brunson. You hear me? Shout out to Jalen Brunson. He's carrying the Knicks. He's easily the best player on the Knicks. Easily the best player. Easily. Hands down. The Knicks have not been playing bad all year. I feel like all year they've been right here. It's been some times where they jumped up. After the OG Adenobi trade, they made a nice big jump. But for the most part, they've been here. The Knicks have not been a below 500 team all season. That's due to Jalen Brunson. You take Brunson off this team, they completely different. Completely different. You hear me? Shout out to Jalen Brunson. That's my number five. Number four, I have Shea Gildas Alexander. Yes, 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 I know. Shea is my number four. Right now, Shea's averaging 31, 5, and 6. 31, 5, and 6. And OKC's okay, in the second seed. But let me tell you something. Last year, Shea averaged 31, 5, and 6. 31, 5, and 6 last year. So his numbers didn't really jump that much this year. It's just that OKC's winning way more games. Way more games. And then I owe that to Luke Dort. He's having a great year. Shet Holmgren. He's coming back playing healthy. Their team is better. You hear me? They the new team. They killed the NBA by surprise. Nobody was expecting OKC to be this good. But I don't think Shea is MVP this year. I'm not going to lie. I think even though there's no criteria of MVP, I feel like you have to be the runner-up a few years first. This is his first year in the MVP conversation, respectfully. He can't get it just like, just because of that. Just because of that, he can't get it. And then if what if he get in the playoffs and he chokes? We haven't seen Shea Gilders in the playoffs go crazy, crazy. So I feel like let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. You feel me? Let's wait. Let's wait. Yes, he's the second seed, but 
hey, hey, you gotta, it takes more than that. It takes more than that to be MVP. It takes more than that. Now, number three, Anthony Edwards. He's another one that's in the second seed fighting for first. He's averaging 28, 6, and 5. Anthony Edwards of the Minnesota Timberwolves. The reason why he's kind of so far back is Rudy Gobert is playing great. He's playing great. I'm not going to lie. I feel like Carl Anthony Towns is having one of his best seasons ever. One of his best seasons ever. So that's kind of taking away a little bit of steam from Anthony Edwards. Then you got Mike Conley, great vet. You got Kyle Anderson, he's playing good. You got, what's my son's name? Shabazz Napier, I think. What's my son that come off the bench for them? He's doing really good, you feel me? Minnesota's playing really, really good right now. Really, really good. And the same thing I said with Shea, I feel like you got to be the runner-up a few years. This is Ant-Man's first year in the MVP conversation. I don't think he should win it. I don't think he should win it. I'm sorry. I don't think he should win it. That's my opinion, though. But I wouldn't be mad if Anthony Edwards win it. 20 years ago, Kevin Garnett won the MVP. So I would definitely be down with it for 20 years later, Kevin Garnett printed, presenting a new Timberwolf with the MVP 20 years after he won it. I would be down with that. That's a nice story there. But I don't think Anthony Edwards is MVP this year. I'm sorry. Next, that was, that was so we got Brunson at five. We got Shea at four. We got Ant-Man at three. My top two for MVPs this year is Nikola Jokic and Jason Tatum. Yes, yes, yes. Nikola Jokic is killing everything. Like, everything, everything, bruh. Everything, everything. He is probably the best player in the world after winning the ring. He is going crazy. Nikola Jokic is averaging 26, 12, and 9. A walk and triple double. Slow as hell. Nobody can't stop me. Can't do nothing with me. Oh my God. And I don't got no All-Stars. I don't got no All-Stars on my team. Jamal Murray is an All-Star, but he ain't been voted an All-Star in a few years. That's not my problem. Aaron Gordon's cute. He ain't an All-Star. Michael Porter Jr. ain't an All-Star. KCP ain't an All-Star. I'm the only All-Star here, and I got to size the first seed again. Again, right now it's a three-way tie between Minnesota, OKC, Denver for the first seed in the Western Conference. Jokic has to get a lot of that. A lot of that. And I just won MVP two years ago. Y'all fixed up me last year and was made it a race car thing. Y'all started talking about race. And then I was like, you know what? I'm off that. I don't even want that no more. Go ahead, give it to Embiid because I don't want to make it that. You hear me? So I got robbed last year. I deserve it this year. You hear me? Jokic can probably win MVP this year, bro. He's having one of them seasons. Like, this conversation happens every five years. Every time there's a great big, it's, oh, my God, he's the new Shaq. We said this with Boogie Cousins. We said this with Dwight Howard. We said this with a few niggas. None of them got rings. <laughs> None of them got rings. Boogie Cousins don't got a ring. Dwight, you got a ring later in your career. Y'all niggas didn't get rings in y'all prom. You hear me? He's that, bro. Nikola Jokic is that. Nikola Jokic is that. Now, Giannis can definitely be on here, but Giannis, you already got Dame Lillard. Y'all have definitely been... Y'all haven't been just all the way up here. You feel me? Denver's been great all year. All year. That brings us to last but certainly not least, Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum might be my number one pick for MVP. I'm not going to lie. He was a runner-up last year or a few years ago. He's been in a conversation. Jason Tatum has the best record in the NBA. Fuck the conference. The Celtics have the best record in the NBA. That's all to Jason Tatum. Jalen Brown is very good. Porzingis is very good. Drew Holiday is very good. You take Tatum off this team, they're not the number one in the A. They're not the number one in the A. They're not. Not only that, Tatum looks unguardable. Unguardable right now. There's be nights where it's like, yo, bro, he's having a bad shooting night. He still gets the dub. Still comes out clutch time. Still locks niggas up. Respectfully. That's the one thing I could put Tatum probably over everybody on this list. Besides probably Ant-Man. Tatum's a better defender than everybody on this list. Tatum's a better defender than Shea. Tatum's a better defender than Brunson. Tatum's a better defender than Ant-Man. Tatum's a better defender than Jokic. Tatum is that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. He's averaging 27, 8, and 5. 
first seed in the NBA. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. All these guys on this list definitely deserve it. This is my only list. You hear me? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Who would you have as number one? Who would you have as number five? Who do you think is going to win MVP? Like, that's my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.